Here's my name tend. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Boredom Middle School. I am your English teacher. I am very happy to meet you. Today is our first class. Let's make a name tent and introduce ourselves. Here's my name tent. My name is Kang Hoshi. I like cookies and donuts. I am not a great baker, but my cheesecake is fantastic. Now it's your turn. My name is Song Ara. I am active. I like taking trips and camping. I'm a good map reader. My nickname is Song Navi. My name is Lee So Min. I like animation movies and comic books. I'm good at art. Here is my work. My name is Che Ji Sung. I like PE and lunchtime. I'm good at soccer. My nickname is Future Park Ji Sung. Are you good at soccer too? Let's play soccer together. Reading time. The praise relay. How often do you express love to your family? Minho's family members often write notes of praise on the board. Here are their notes. I praise my grandpa. He has a young spirit. He always tries new things. He has his own blog. He posts photos and video clips on it. Minho. I praise Minji. Minji is a sweet girl. She often sends nice text messages and photos to me. Thanks to Minji, my days are happy. Grandpa. I praise my mom. She has good DIY skills. She makes things like a shelf, a small chair, and even Kitty's house. Our house is always pretty and cozy. Thank you, Mom. Minji. I praise my husband. He does a lot of housework. He takes out the garbage and washes the dishes. He is a great husband. Mom. I praise Minho. He is a good boy. He doesn't forget Kitty's meal time. He often plays with her. Dad. It's lunchtime. Pora at Korea. Today's menu is bibimbap. It is my favorite food. I can even make it. What's your favorite food for lunch at school? School lunches around the world. Pipimbap. Favorite. Catalina at Chile. It's paella marina, a seafood soup. In our school, some students go home for lunch and some eat at school. There are various seafood dishes on our menu. Why? Our country has a very long coastline. Akmal at Malaysia. My favorite food is nasi lemak. It's tasty. There is a cafeteria at our school, and we buy lunch there. It serves various foods from Malaysia, China, Thailand, and India. I enjoy all the foods. Peyton at New Zealand. Our school does not have a school lunch system, so most students bring sandwiches and fruits. But we have a twenty-minute tea time after the first class. During that time, we talk, play games, and have some snacks. Sophie at France. We don't have tea time, but our lunch time is long. It's ninety minutes. We have four course meals: vegetable starter, main dish, 
cheese, and dessert. Today's menu is green salad, cocoa van, cheese, and apple pie. I love my school lunch. The power of silence. It was a hot summer day. Joe was happy. His grandchildren were on their way to his house. He cleaned the house and cooked dinner for them. He was busy all day. Finally, the kids got to Joe's house. They sat happily at the dinner table. Then, one kid asked, Grandpa, where is your watch? Everybody knew the watch. It was a gift from Joe's dead wife. He was shocked. Oh no, I lost it somewhere. The children asked, Grandpa, Grandpa where, where did, did you, you last, last see, see the, the watch? watch? Joe said, Maybe in the barn. The kids ran out to the barn. They looked in every corner, but they couldn't find the watch. Joe was disappointed. Amber, one of the kids, didn't give up. I'll try again. She went inside the barn alone and closed the door. Everybody was curious. Surprisingly, a few minutes later, she came out with the watch. Joe was surprised and asked happily, How did you find it? She answered, I just sat there quietly. The barn was very silent. Soon I heard a weak sound tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. I followed the sound and found the watch. Together we are strong. Some animals live in groups. They always help and care for each other. Let's meet two different animal groups sea otters. And meerkats. Sea otters live together in groups of 10 to 100. Look at the pictures. The sea otters are sleeping together in the sea. Some are holding hands. Some are leaning on each other. Why? In the sea, the waves are too strong. They can wash the sea otters away. What about the babies? Mother sea otters take care of them. They're holding their babies on their stomachs. The babies feel safe with their mothers. Meerkats live in a dangerous wild desert. Enemies are everywhere, so they live in a large group. Look, one meerkat is standing straight up. What is he doing? He's watching out for enemies. Meanwhile, the other meerkats are resting or looking for food. They look relaxed. Oh no, a scary cobra is coming. All the meerkats are fighting with the enemy. Finally, the cobra is sliding away. The victory is theirs. Nangbi and Pung Pung's saving list. One evening, Nangbi's mom called a family meeting. Look at this bill. We use too much electricity and water. It's a big problem. Nangbi is responsible for this. She takes a shower for 45 minutes. You keep your computer on all day long. Nangbi and Pung Pung. Open the refrigerator door too often. We are all responsible. I keep too much food in the refrigerator. That wastes energy. I am responsible too. I sometimes sleep with the TV on. And we use too many cups. Each one of us uses five or six cups a day. We also use too many towels. You're right. When we wash them, we use a lot of water. Why don't we make a water and energy saving list? Sounds, Sounds great. great. Nangbi and Pung Pung's water and energy saving list. 1. 
Take a short shower. 2. Turn off the computer when you aren't using it. 3. Do not open the refrigerator door too often. 4. Turn off the TV when you aren't watching it. 5. Use one cup a day. Everyone has a cup with their name on it. 6. Use one towel when you take a shower. My Speech Contest Last Friday, Boram Middle School held a speech contest. The theme was My Future Dream. Here are the speeches of the two winners. I want to start my speech with a story about my dog. My dog, Bongja, had a problem. She was too greedy about food. She even ate food from the garbage. So I got help from a dog trainer. He watched Bongja and said, Fill a big bowl with dog food and keep it filled all the time. Surprisingly, his idea worked. Now Bongja keeps calm in front of food. What's the secret? I asked. He answered, There is always enough food for her, so she isn't greedy anymore. From this experience, I became interested in dog training. I want to be a dog trainer and help many dogs in trouble. Look at this picture. Robots are rescuing people from a fire. Isn't it cool? Someday, I want to make rescue robots like these, and my robots will save people's lives. My role model is Dr. Dennis Hong. He created a car for blind drivers. He is now working on rescue robots. I hope to be a robotics engineer like him. I'm studying math and science very hard. I'm also studying online lessons about robotics. Making a robot will not be easy, but I won't give up my dream. The secret is air. Suman's school is holding a science fair. There are so many interesting booths. The Science of Air booth catches Suman's eye. Welcome to the Science of Air booth. Let's do an interesting experiment. Here I have two empty cans. I'm going to crush the red can. Now, the red one is flat and the blue one isn't. I will put them in the water tank. Which one will float? Why? Well, both will float because they are very light. Let's see. Only the blue one floats. Why? Because of air. The blue can has enough space for air. Air is lighter than water. So, the blue can floats in the water. The red can doesn't have much space for air. So, it can't float. You're right. The secret is air. Yes. It works for a large ship, too. Really? Where is the air in a ship? A ship has a large empty space in the bottom. In the bottom? Yes. There is air in that space. Because of the air, the density of the ship decreases. Aha! So a large ship can float. Air is so powerful. The Moonlight Tour Mina and Tony start a Changdeokgung Palace Moonlight Tour. A guide gives Tony a Chongsa Chorong. What's this? It's so beautiful. It's a Chongsa Chorong, a traditional Korean lantern. People in the Joseon Dynasty used it at a wedding. At Donhua Moon, the main gate of the palace. What a great palace! Yes, King Taejong of the Joseon Dynasty built it in 1405 as a secondary palace. Wow, it's over 600 years old. Many kings love to stay in this palace. In Injongjeon, the throne hall. This is the main hall of the palace. Kings and officials gathered here for important national events. Look at the king's chair. How wonderful it is!
What are those stones over there? They are Pungasaks. Officials stood behind them according to their rank. In Huan, the garden in the back. Look at the moon in the pond. It's fantastic. It's Puyongji. The royal family rested in this area. They also wrote poems and held parties here. Let's walk through the woods. The royal family enjoyed outdoor activities here. They shot arrows and rode horses. Huan is in harmony with nature. So, many people visit here and enjoy the beauty of this garden. What a beautiful garden it is. I will show my parents this garden someday. Do you want to enjoy art more? How long do you look at a single painting in a museum? Maybe only five or ten seconds? Then you are not enjoying the painting. Do you want to enjoy art more? Try the following steps. Step 1. Look at the painting closely and find interesting details. Step 2. Find out about the painter's background. Step 3. Think about the meaning of the details again. Let's look at the following painting together. Step 1. What can you see here? First, you can see a big green face and an animal's head. They are looking at each other. The green man is holding a small tree. On the animal's cheek, a woman is milking a goat. Can you see the village at the top of the picture? Step 2. This is Marc Chagall's painting, I and the Village. Chagall lived in the country in Russia. When he was 23 years old, he moved to Paris. He painted this painting there. He always missed his hometown. Step 3. Let's guess the meaning of the details. Who is the green man? Perhaps he is the painter Chagall. The village is his hometown. The painting shows memories of his hometown. Now, look at the painting again. Does this picture look different? How do you feel about the painting?